Xiaomi Mi Surface 34 inches gaming monitor. This could be a new ultra wide king. Smooth 144 Hz refresh rate, nicely curved VA panel, 4 millisecond response time, 3K resolution, 21 by 9 aspect ratio, AMD FreeSync and 121% of sRGB white color gamut. Wow! Those specs sounds really impressive and the best part so far is the price. Only 360 US dollars. Well, at least in China. But before I go into the pricing and comparison to other models, let's start from the beginning. Hey, what's up guys? Nell is here from Nuxtech. Here in my channel I make latest tech reviews including a lot of Xiaomi products. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. To my surprise, Xiaomi Mi Surface Monitor comes in a pretty big box, even bigger than Xiaomi Mi Jo 1C vacuum cleaner, and as we get things unboxed, we will find a Chinese manual book, some wall hanging screws, a base, bracket, display port cable, power cord, and the massive 34 inches display itself. As you can see, assembling all parts is super simple. Base on a bracket is connected by one screw and display on the top attaches with a single click. Overall build quality feels amazing and Xiaomi is known for its beautiful simplicity when it comes to the design. On the back side we will find quite a few ports, including two HDMI 2.0, two display ports 1.4, a 3.5mm audio jack and a casual AC in. I was positively surprised with those magnetic cover lids as not only it makes product more premium but also contributes to the practical side of the cables management. And to my experience, not many monitors does have it so well done Xiaomi. The adjustable bracket of the display supports lifting, rotating and tilting so you can perfectly adjust based on your needs. Narrow bezels at the beginning looks really amazing, however, as soon as you turn on the screen, you will notice the actual size. While the bottom part is somewhere around 2cm in width, all other sides can fit under 1cm. It's still quite impressive, however, I wish Xiaomi would use all the space to make its monitor even more futuristic. You will also find a total of 5 physical buttons on the back right side to power on monitor and access most important settings such as brightness, contrast, smart modes or free sync. OSD language to this moment can be set either to Chinese or English and later one works just perfect for me. So why did I buy this Xiaomi Mi Surface monitor? Well, there are mainly three reasons. To increase my productivity in my daily tasks, bring my gaming experience to the next level and finally, because I love design and quality of Xiaomi products. You see, either I'm writing a script for my next video, creating a visual on Photoshop or editing on Premiere Pro, having more space on ultra wide screen will benefit you significantly. You can open several browser windows side by side, see a full timeline of your editing video or open up to three full size Word documents. To be honest, it felt a bit weird on the first days as I haven't ever used ultrawide or multiple monitor setup before, but as soon as I got used to it, I realized how my productivity level increased. Coming up from 15 inches razor blade to 34 inches ultrawide monitor literally felt like day and night. I can't even express in words. While Xiaomi Mi Surface is not a 4K monitor, it's still super crispy with a resolution of 3440 by 1440 pixels. Add to this wide color gamut of 121% of sRGB and 85% of NTSC makes this display attractive not only for gamers but also designers and video editors. Alright, now let's talk more about gaming experience. All of the games I have tried on my PC supports 21 by 9 aspect ratio and this gives a really nice cinematic look. This ratio allows to see around 30% more of game interface compared to traditional 16 by 9 displays and that might give a competitive advantage towards other players especially in shooting and real time strategy games. Xiaomi Gaming Monitor has a 4ms G2G response time 
and most importantly high 144 Hz refresh rate supported by AMD FreeSync technology, which most of the gamers are dreaming about. You might be wondering if there is a significant difference between gaming in 60 and 144 FPS, and the short answer is yes. However, due to YouTube limitations, I will not be able to demonstrate to you in this video. So just trust me in this case or try it yourself. Another good thing is that AMD FreeSync is also supported by G-Sync, starting with NVIDIA GTX 10 series graphic cards. To activate G-Sync, download latest NVIDIA drivers and find this option available under the settings menu. At the same time, make sure you have turned on FreeSync under the monitor settings and get ready to enjoy smoothness. To wrap things up and make some conclusions, let's see what are the other similar monitor options available right now in the market. There is a LG 34 GK950F with similar specs, however superior Nano IPS panel, same 144Hz and 1440p resolution. Seems to be really amazing screen, however priced at around $1000, which is more than double compared to Xiaomi Mi Surface. The next one is Dell Alienware with slight lower 120Hz refresh rate, 4 millisecond response time and G-Sync, 1440p resolution, slimmer bezels but more aggressive on the price side. Can be found for more or less 800 bucks. While I was looking for something on more budget friendly side, I found MSI Mac 341CQ, a 3K VA monitor with 100Hz refresh rate, 110% sRGB, AMD FreeSync, 8 millisecond response time, lower brightness of 250 nits and not adjustable high level. This one is priced at 425 US dollars. Moving on, there is LG UC80B, 3K IPS panel, 99% sRGB, HDR10 support, 5 milliseconds G2G, but only 60Hz refresh rate that could be a real deal breaker for gamers. Can be found at 490 bucks. While the next one might be less known brand in general, it has pretty nice specs at low price. And it is a Wildtech GN34CW. 1440p resolution, 100Hz, 4 millisecond response time, AMD FreeSync, 115% sRGB color gamut. Priced at only 380 bucks. However, it doesn't have adjustable bracket, and I'm not sure about its reliability and overall build quality. And the last one to compare with is LG34 GL750OB for 430 bucks. IPS panel 144Hz, adaptive sync, HDR10, 1 millisecond motion blur reduction, 99% of sRGB, but only 1080p resolution. And for 34 inches ultra wide, you really need more pixels. So this one is not the best option at all. So where does Xiaomi Mi Surface Ultra Wide Monitor stands and how much does it really cost if you live outside of China? Well, when we compare it to cheaper LG, MSI or Viotech models, Mi Surface will be a superior option as it has a better specs combination, including 144Hz refresh rate, 4 millisecond response time, 121% sRGB color accuracy and a 3K resolution. AMD FreeSync is a great add-on, however it would be even better if it was an IPS panel. Finally, Xiaomi Display currently can be found for $469 in US warehouse or €449 Euro in China warehouse with a special discount code which you will find in the description section below this video. Shipping is free in most cases and there will be no additional taxes with priority line shipping method. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to click on notification bell icon to stay updated with my future video reviews. Thanks for watching, this is Nellis from Nuxtech and I'll see you next time.